This is Twit. The world is changing rapidly. So rapidly, in fact, that it's hard to keep up. That's why Micah Sargent and I, Jason Howell, talk with the people making and breaking the tech news on Tech News Weekly every Thursday. They know these stories better than anyone. So why not get them to talk about it in their own words? Subscribe to Tech News Weekly and you won't miss a beat every Thursday at twit.tv. I've been I've been in Iowa with John Deere. Oh, did you did you go to Iowa to do a John Deere event? Oh, okay. Did you give him a hard time about right to repair? (gasps) Did I not tell you about my John Deere trip? Have I not been here? No, No, you did not. That's how long you've been. You've left us. My God. Okay, I'll make that my thing of the week, and then well, I want your thing too, though. You've got a good thing. Okay. All right. Here's the John Deere trip. I went because they had me talk or they gave me exclusive tour of their plant in Moline, Indiana. I bet that was fun. Uh, Oh, my God. It was the best thing ever. Did you get to go like in those living room sized combine? You you got to stop for a second. I'm going to tell you everything cool and I'm going to try to do it real fast. No, no, don't hurry. It's all right. So I came and if you want to throw the link in there to my story, you can because self-promotion. But good. They're, they're building their own 5G network. So anybody who's a giant nerd like me, and then we'll talk about tractors because that's also cool. Right, we talked about they this on the show their, and I want to know how this would work. I'm so glad you did this. Ooh. Ooh. They bought their yeah. own Spectrum in 2020 at the right. CBRS auction. So, And then they called a cellular equipment company, probably Ericsson or Nokia. They won't tell me which. And they said, Hey, we've got Spectrum. We want to build our own private 5G network inside of our factories, which covers like 4 million square feet. Okay. So, and then they did it with an LTE. So it's not 5G yet because it's not out. The end equipment isn't there. Okay. So now they own their Spectrum. They built their own network. They hired like 20% more people in their Wi-Fi and IT division, basically, their wireless IT division. And they were like, go learn about cellular networking. And they did. And they're Mm. running it just like their AT&T or somebody like that, except it's only a smaller network in that one area. So pretty awesome. Very cool. They're expecting to run like thousands of sensors on it. Um, they wouldn't let me take pictures except for these two things, so I didn't get to cool factory stuff. So this All thing right. on this bar here is a micro cell. That uh, is an LTE micro cell. And, and they've got 14. That's all. And it replaces 100 Wi-Fi access wow. points. Wow. Wow. And they can throw way more sensors on it. They also have much better latency. Apparently, Wi-Fi, one, factories are really terrible for Wi-Fi because yeah. there's big metal mm-hmm. devices running metal around. Boy. Uh-huh. But also, he was like, when our employees would start their microwave during lunch hours, <laughs> our Wi-Fi network would go crazy. Yeah. And I was yeah. like, oh, but that's not even... <laughs> so, <laughs> I was like, okay. Um, so there's a lot of interference. Now they can control that. And it's pretty awesome. And they're going to upgrade it to 5G. Um, in June, the 3GPP, which is the governing body for the 5G standard, they released something called Release 17. And basically, it has a lot of things associated with latency. It has device location associated with it. So all the factory deployments are going to start happening now that that's out in the world and people are starting to make end devices. Because right now, like in their test labs, they've got like dongle. It's like dongle nation because they can only get the 5G for like dongles just shoved into everything. So annoying. It's like a MacBook. Uh, okay, so that's the 5G story. Three million awesome. square foot factories served by 14 LTE microcells. I wonder if they plan to put those out in farms, uh, in farm fields at some point, like become a, a, a specialized 5G network for farm equipment. That's an They can't idea. because they only they bought five, the, the way they only bought Spectrum in five geographic areas, ah. the five counties that they operate in. Okay. So they do have it outdoors. They have a test track outside of that factory and they will put it there. But- well, actually, they you don't have like, to create your own. I guess like you could sign up with whoever the incumbent is in that in your area yeah. and use that. Yeah. Okay, so that's it. Now, do you want to know the coolest thing I learned? Yes. Okay. I need y'all to understand that the factory where I go, they make these machines are fifty thousand pounds. Okay, they are huge. It's a combine, yeah, which is called mm. a, a combine because it combines like. 20 something operations 
So massive machines. And we did not talk about right to repair. I am aware and I have opinions on it and they are not favorable to John Deere, but this was not a, this is a factory tour. <laughs> it was not a software <laughs> analysis tour. And I've talked to them about right to repair. I'm just going to let, let everybody know. Cause I know people are like, ah, John Deere, right to repair. <laughs> True. That's not a bad idea. Okay. But the factory tour starts, they have these giant shelves and on them are just sheets of metal just sheets of metal. And the first step is these robots pull off this thing into a CNC kind of, it's a laser cutting machine actually. And they just cut like every freaking part. There are, did I say my story, how many parts there were? I don't remember. Yeah. That's what Tesla does too. They bend their own metal. Yeah. It's like they cut their 18, own 18,000 pieces. Yeah, yeah. So, and at the end you get this tractor that is enormous like i come up halfway to the wheel on this oh, thing I, know. I mean i know it's amazing it's, it's ridiculous and then yeah. and then they they have in the factory so they're building it all together it goes through all these many millions of square feet and then they have a, a gantry that runs up the top and they pull the tractor along a gantry over your heads when it gets done so then you know how they paint it green how they have 11 Olympic size swimming pools. So, Nine of them are filled with water and they just dip, <laughs> dip. What? Dip. They dip the oh, thing so. in wow. the parts or the whole V? No, they just dip the, the parts. Whole, like, the whole, like the whole thing? of the tractor. Wow. Like what? all the green bits. And then they come and spray paint. Like it's not every, a, but a it's a massive. Like, that house. That thing is massive. Oh, massaging yeah. seats. Oh yeah. Well, we we I have mean, people listen harvesting. to our podcasts in these giant combines. Yeah. Yeah. They're there for they drive like 15 themselves. hours a day when they're yeah, harvesting. Exactly. They drive yeah. themselves. Yeah. And John Deere built their own factory operation software, which if you're in industrial, like instead of buying something from like Siemens or Schneider yeah. or Rockwell or anybody, they built their own. They just do everything. So it's pretty cool. Okay, thanks, yeah, the bodies. Thanks to youtube.com slash tractor spotter for this, for this <laughs> informative video. This, this is pretty awesome. It's pretty cool. I want one Yeah, I mean, these. look at those things. I that's the X9. That's that. what yeah, they make yeah. there. Yeah. No, I, that's why I picked it. So, that's cool. So it's not it. even the biggest combine they make. I mean, they make bigger, even bigger ones. It's kind of amazing. And they dip just, it in I pools. Mean, that's hysterical. That's crazy. Yeah, they're big. And then they have they do have a spray like for other parts and spray. And Chumley did point out that they don't dip the whole tractor. They hit it's a big body, but it's a it's lot. Like obviously the tires are not yeah, yet. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. It's, Look, it's got tractor, it's got a tank tread. That's amazing. Oh yeah. Yeah. These things are awesome. That's okay, a, so I'm gonna that watch more tour. of this YouTube channel. By the way, it's all tractors. Yeah, that's, that's, yeah, dude. <laughs> tractor Appreciate spotter. You putting that in the show notes. <laughs> it's a, kind of amazing. Uh, everything you could ever want is in a is on a YouTube channel. And yep. all, all I do is yeah. search for that model, and there you have it. In Eric, yes, Eric Duckman saying, "Go to other factories. They do this. I do. I love going on factory tours. Like every time I go someplace, everyone's like, like you want to see my data center?' And I'm like, "No, show me where you make stuff. It's so much better.' <laughs> yeah. Uh, thank you, Stacy, for that report direct from Michigan. No, um, sorry, Moline, Moline, <laughs> Moline. It's at the you corner were in of Iowa. Indiana and you were in Iowa. I thought it was in Iowa. It's all, Iowa's across the river. I okay, I didn't know so. the. I used to be at Moline Iowa. Airport. Moline oh, is Iowa. Wait a minute! I thought you grew up in New Jersey, oh, yes. on the no, tomato Moline fields. I Indiana. I went to four elementary schools in three states and four high schools oh. in three states. So you didn't. And my father got out of the military, so we wouldn't move. But he was in sales, so we moved. Oh, it's Illinois. It's Moline, Illinois. Illinois. It's not Indiana. Yeah, Moline, Illinois. <laughs> oh, that's yeah. what I was going to say. Jeez. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. You know, right. you said you were problem. in Iowa, then you said you were in Indiana, this but you were actually the problem Illinois. with you. She's left, the heartland. Left yeah, coast exactly. Ed journalists, it's all flyover oh, states to God. you, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Yeah, it's all the same. Well, I, it, originally, I thought it was in <laughs> Iowa because it's across the river from Iowa. And I was talking to a friend of mine and I was and he was Where from am I? It doesn't it's matter. Actually, he was from Moline, and I was like, "Yeah, I've, I've, so, you know, I'm going to Moline, but I've never been to, I, I've never been to that state, so it's really cool." He's like, "You've never been to Chicago?" And I'm like, "Oh, wait, it's in, yeah, it's same, in Illinois, same state, yeah, yeah." <laughs> Bless you. You'd never know. <laughs> was Dan with you, the podcaster? Was he there? 
Be. Oh, oh, Dan, my secret, my I secret podcaster mention, that I podcast with. Yes, John, and and she disclosed in this article, John Deere did play for your hotel room. I hope it was a nice hotel room. Anyway, <laughs> it, it was. I paid for my because I was I was, I was doing flights. a talk. You did your flights. Yeah, I did my flights yeah. and everything else. My car, but they well, it's just appropriate to disclose. They were like, they, yeah, right. Yeah, right. And if we There's thought you were you, you sold out as that cheap, I mean, come on, we know you're not. We got. They did give me a hat and a thing of kettle corn, and the kettle corn oh, was delicious. I'll take the kettle corn. How I'll big? The hat. Like, I'll how take much? The no, that the hats actually one of the hat I got at CES like three years ago. But I have no. a John Deere green hat. We have a. Oh, I have one of those too. We have a friend have of the family, hat. Sean, who comes over to a family events driving his tractor. <laughs> uh, yeah. And uh it's like the upstate of South Kakilaki. It's kinda like Kakilaki. Yeah. I have uh I have some pictures of Lisa in the uh in the Kubota. The dog shit. There she is. There she the gone. There she gone. There we go. In her Kub Yeah, that's Sean's tractor. He drives that to uh, anytime he's going anywhere. And that's the wonderful thing about Petaluma is uh you can get stuck on a road driving five miles an hour behind a giant tractor and it's that's the way it does is. he actually farm or is this a a a, a, a conceit <laughs> is it a pretentious vehicle that he owns <laughs> yes yeah no i yes. think he uses it i think for what it. you think for he beer, does for beer runs for beer runs 